<laughs> oh, sorry about that. All right. I'm going to name this vid right here. It's called Michigan Stories of High Strangeness. I'm not talking about just being high, but could <laughs> you could throw that in there if you want to. High Strangeness. So, all right. Uh, Here's some Michigan stories of high strangeness. Uh, when it comes to like Illuminati, Illuminati, uh, something I've noticed like uh, there is a strong Templar, uh, a Templar like you know I mean Masons and Templars are simple are similar or modern day descendants of but. It's 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 really strongly Templar. What they what you know the monuments they make around here, like there's a six pillar circle over there by Mott Lake. They just put they say it's for the soldiers over there in the Middle East, which is the Crusade. Crusade, homie. You guys are doing the same thing that you used to do. I'm sure there's probably some uh uh what is it what is it called uh archaeo astronomy going on with this thing, but. You follow Mott Lake there, and then now you follow Flint River, and it works your way towards the city of Flint, and it goes right by the Jesuit College. Michigan's a college town now, and you got this college here, and you got these fraternities around here, and I'm pretty sure there's a Black Boule branch fraternity around here. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm not no expert on it, but I've seen them out here, and they also fall on the river they're over there by mclaren right by the water treatment place out there uh towards flushing okay even flushing you go out, you go out to uh flushing and uh uh when it goes through downtown flushing you got the knights templar you got uh the, the the circle in stone right by the bridge. You got that 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 circular pillared monument that uh, says fire department. You got uh the fusion of the four elements cross carved into the ground. You got the the Illuminati golden pyramid on the Catholic school church, whatever that is. And then uh you got directly down from that uh directly east of that you got that Illuminati eye. Uh, uh, graffitied behind that bench, you know. I I went. That's high strangeness here. But I know down, it, down below us, there's something called the Witch's Garden, and it's uh at the lowest point in Michigan, and it's basically just a bunch of stone, stone paths like the directions, uh, different stones brought in from different parts of the world. It's probably something to do with the Druid Masonic. Freemasonic people, because I mean, just your common masons, they might have the magic and that would whatnot, but it's those Freemasons from, from Scotland that really got that Phoenician, uh, cabalistic, uh, stuff from the Crusades. I mean, they got it, they know it, you know, they they got Jabulon and Baal and all that to uh instruct them and to weave them webs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but. Okay, there's high, there's high, there's there's some local Michigan high strangeness down Flint River, then out here in Mott, Geneseeville, you got the Masonic Temple right not far from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know I'm seeing how the uh the Masonic Temple out in 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 Mount Morris, you got a, a judge right by it, you have a school right by it, and you have a church right by it. And it's in the center. And then you got a grocery store to like the, uh, let's say it would be the Northwest. You know, it, and it's like, you guys are you guys are fucking with me, right? And they got all this Knights of Columbus stuff around down the road from there. It's like, come on. And then around, you go to every graveyard here in uh, Flint. And you got the, the, the phallus, the obelisk. And you see all these masons and witches and all these other people with these famous names the roads are named after occultists and templars like kind of like out in canada what's that get roslin's chapel guys them guys sinclair you know what i'm saying like i said i got family over there in canada too and the indians knew that the templars were here 
And, you know, I mean, it's it's crazy. So, got all that. You know, in the Jesuit schools, man, they are straight up anti-Christ, sacrificing kids. They always have been, you know. Uh, and, they, and they also concealed the knowledge and probably stole it for themselves. Fucking bastards. But, uh... More Michigan, uh, high strangeness, man, uh, that's definitely, but that's, yeah, that's high strangeness, but it's no surprise, yeah, just like, you go over off of Stanley Road over there by, uh, Dora Highway, and you'll see this little old graveyard, and at the highest point, they got an obelisk there, at the highest point, that's the high places of the Bible, where they make their groves and their, uh, and their, uh, temples and you know and their idols that's exactly what that is there you know it's awesome i can know this now but it seems like the templar saying they knew about the flint river and they went up and and like surveyed it before anyone came and they just came came back and reclaimed it after they let someone had to be someone had to have their name on the lease of america and the templars were like we don't want it you can have it you know what i'm saying fucking but we want this 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 and that and they were like, okay, okay, we fund your voyage, we fund all that, Buyka. Jesuits, Pope, the monarchies, the Zionists, it's all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've always been in on all this shit. Uh, but that's why you can go from county to county, city to city, and state to state, and see the same old shiznit. Marquette, Michigan is an awesome place. It's very Jesuitic up there, dude. I mean, you even read the book, the Hiawatha book, and this original legend that talks about Father Marquette in it, and that's probably because it was propaganda, propagandized, put in there. I mean, uh, that's the old men of the waving stick, is what the local Indians called the uh, priests that had, had robes, and they waved the cross like this. So the Indians called them the men of the waving stick. But yeah, uh, uh, here's a here we're gonna switch tempo here to uh, supposedly when my aunt and my mom were living up there in Marquette when they were kids.